Hey guys, this is Hong Van Gogh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I invited the beautiful Elizabeth Lake here to lend me her canvas to play with a non-makeup look for you. This is more a festive makeup look or a red carpet, a night out makeup look as well. I hope you enjoy the video. Continue to give my channel a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumb up, and don't forget to follow both Elizabeth and me on Instagram as well. Thank you. To start every makeup, I always prep the skin first. The first step, always lip balm. The lip balm I'm using today is from Lana Lips. I believe it's an Australian brand. It's a great lip balm to prep before makeup. They are a little shiny, but you can blot it down before you do lipstick. For all the skincare today, I'm using from Royal Fern, the serum, the eye cream, and the moisturizer. I always use some serum to really press into the face, to prep the skin really well with the moisturizer. The next product is the eye cream. Close your eye for me. And I use some moisturizer from Royal Fern as well. Really work the moisturize into the skin. Always give your skin a little massage, waking up the skin before you do makeup. For foundation and concealer, I'm going to use the Radiant Fluid Foundation from Clitopole and also the concealer from them as well. The shade I'm going to use is B30 and the concealer is beige. For the foundation, I'm using with a Kabuki brush from Refer. And this is a great foundation brush. You can apply to get very sheer application or you can get a full application by just really press the product in. Elizabeth have really beautiful skin, just a tiny redhead around the nose and the center area. So that's where I mainly put all the product. The rest of them, I'm just really just buff it out. And on the T-zone where all the redness, I get more coverage just by applying this way. Just really press the product in there. For concealer, I'm using mainly under the eyes and around the nose area and anywhere that have some redness that I want to cover. And I'm using this concealer brush 
from Refer as well. And if you want more coverage of the concealer, just press like this. You can actually way more coverage. For contour and shading, I'm using just a cream bronzer from Chanel. This is a deeper shade. I mean, even if the deeper shade is still very sheer, so you still can use on pale skin like this. And I'm using the same foundation brush that I used earlier. I'm using it to shade in the contour. Fade this way for me. And basically, I just press the product into all the angle that I want to bring out the jaw, the cheekbone, the hairline, everywhere. And I'm doing more a higher contour for this. And I use a little bit bronzer on the side of the nose as well. For powder, I'm going to use this powder from Shivanshi Beauty. It's the number three that I'm using. Look up for me. Turn this way. Close your eye. This powder is absolutely beautiful. It's very, very sheer, which is like it set the makeup, but it doesn't look like you have any powder on the skin at all, which is amazing. I'm going to use the new bronzer from Kevin O'Conn. This is the lightest one, just to set around all the perimeter of the face where I contour earlier. You can use just very little bit like this and just dust it where you want to set the makeup. This is absolutely beautiful bronzer. It is classic. I remember I, when I first started doing makeup, I used this one a lot. and then just set wherever needed. For eyebrow, Elizabeth have incredible eyebrow. I'm not gonna change anything. I'm not gonna wanna add too much. I'm gonna make them a little longer. The brow product I'm gonna use is a brow pencil from Makeup by Mario. It is the Dirty Blonde and also his brown gel as well. To start, I comb the brown down a little bit so I can see where I want to fill in. And I just draw them a little longer. This brow pencil is more a drier brown texture, so it's actually really easy for you to draw. And then you brush back, you can see that. It is a little longer now. One more time. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. And then I use the clear brow gel to set the eyebrow in place. This is actually a very great eyebrow gel. It holds really well. I 
I'm going to use some eye primer as well. It's from Trish McFoy. Just to prep the eye area. For the eye area, I'm going to use this eyeliner from Victoria Beckham. It's more like an um, antique gold eyeliner. And this eyeshadow palette from Givenchy. I'm using mainly the shades around here. Those are the shades I'm using and this aligner. The whole point is that I'm not gonna make the eye look too dark because the lips is where the focal point of this look. The lips I'm doing pretty dark. So the eye, I'm gonna give her a nice wash and just define her eye, but not too heavy. To start, I'm gonna rim this eyeliner all over her waterline. I love this kind of color just because they not your typical brown or black so they won't make the eye look too dark and it's still gonna help to define the eye shape as well look down for me remember this is a long wear pencil so when you do it on your own trying to do one eye at a time use the same liner do a little bit on the outer part of the eye. Sorry, my studio is right outside the street, so it's really noisy right now. Look up for me a little bit. And Elizabeth have beautiful eye but I'm trying to make them a little more feline so I think that's the whole purpose what I'm doing just to the waterline if you have an eye shape like this and you don't want the eye too close you don't have to use the liner in the waterline at all but I do that because I want to make the eye look more feline I'm gonna do the same on the other side and you can see this is like, I just smudge it out. I'm not making it too perfect. And this is how it's gonna look with the liner. I think this alone, if you curl your lashes, is ready to go. You don't even need to use the eyeshadow at all if you don't want to. To start, I'm using this shade right here with the smaller blending brush like this. Look up for me and look up and it just a little bit along the lash line. Close your eye. And do the same on the other side. Using the middle shades here, close your eye. And put on the corner of the eye and the inner crease of the eye. Using a fluffier brush like this with the darker shades and just a little bit. You see what I'm doing very gently, you know, for me. And I just brush it out, the outer part here. Just lift the eye up a little bit, make the eye look more feline. Only on the outer part, and I blend it out. And then this is what I just did. So look straight to the camera, I want to see. You can see that the eye is traumatic in the shape, but it's soft because the color I'm using, all these little brush color lifting, it does give the eye a lot more lifted this way. I'm going to do the lash last. I'm going to go the blush, lips for now. The blush I'm going to use is this blush from Rose Ink. It's a beautiful cream blush texture. I thought I'm gonna do strong lips, pretty strong eye. The, the blush, I'm gonna go more creamy. Even the color look intense, but it actually looks very soft when you come in. The cream texture is gonna help the face look a lot more radiant. So I take out some and you can see you just do a little bit. This is a great cream blush that you can use after 
your face already set without looking muddy. Because you know sometimes cream blush, if when you put on the face that already set with powder, sometimes it could look muddy, but this one doesn't. It gives you this velvety matte texture finish, and I love it. And you can see that even the color looks quite intense, it's coming really nicely on the skin. And I also use the brush from Rose Ink as well. This is a great for shading or blush or any kind of cream application. You can even use this for foundation as well. For the highlighter, I'm using this highlighter from Sisley. I'm using this brush as a highlighter brush because I want to do a very soft application, just like a little airbrush. I don't want to be too much highlight on this look. For lips, I'm going to use this liquid lipstick from Killian. This is an absolutely beautiful liquid lipstick texture. Usually I'm not a huge fan of liquid lipstick because that sometimes it's too dry, but this is very hydrated liquid lipstick. I love it. And this is lip liner. I'm just gonna go and touch up the outer part. The liquid lipstick, this one here, is actually such a nice texture. Guys, stay very hydrated. Smile for me. Ah. Very rich color, but not dry at all compared to most of them. And this, the color is pretty deep that I'm using right now. So now I just use a lip liner, just perfecting the edge a little bit. A lot of time with liquid lipstick, you don't really need to use lip liner. I usually just use them, just touch up the outer edge to make it a bit more cleaner. But a lot of time you can just skip it. For eyes, I'm going to curl the lashes a little bit. And I'm going to use the mascara from Gucci. This is more defined and lengthening mascara. But you also get some volume as well. I also have a tiny coat on the lower lashes as well. To complete the look, I'm gonna set the makeup with the setting spray from Huda Beauty. That's the final look, guy. I hope you enjoy the look. Thank you, Elizabeth, so much for lending me your canvas today to do a little holiday makeup look to share with everyone. Thank you, Dawson, so much for this beautiful hairdo. And I hope you enjoy the video. Give the channel a lot of love. Give it a thumb up, share the video subscribe to the channel and don't forget to follow both elizabeth and me on instagram as well thank you